how to use the pin tool um, this is the pin icon to put in pins on the cadaver or different parts of a system uh, let's first choose a system in order to do that I need to use the visibility menu you can watch my other video about this icon visibility menu tap on the eye icon here or the systems of the body are here I can remove them you see the cadaver is gone here choose just a skeletal system you can remove all the parts I'm, I'm just going to use the skull and neck bones closing the screen here here I want to put the pins on here all right so let's tap on the pin icon this window is coming up there are uh, eight options on the top the first five of them as you see here from here to here those are the types the types of the pins so i'm going to explain just use one of them but they are all the same just their appearance is different from each other number six and number seven that those are for allows you to place a syringe or a lumbar needle and the last one is uh, the icon for you to uh, import into the into the software import a custom model for example that is required using for example medical devices or implants or other things to to uh, import it into the software uh, in order to put the pin on the uh, skull here the first thing you need to do i'm just going to choose first one as i said the fifth of them are the same just different shapes just tap on it, highlight this, and then tap wherever you want to choose here. The first one, it's coming number one, but if you would like to choose it as different number, you can you can choose that different number here. You, it's your choice what number you would like to choose for the for the first one. Now I'm just want to to add more into it. Again, you just tap one more time here and then tap on any part you want to uh, uh, have add more a little here and here you see a different numbers one two three four that are coming up um let me tell you something before i explain more here if i remove by tapping by tapping on each pin you can remove them by tapping on it when you see uh, like a, a box red box coming around and that yellow ball on the top I will tell you what this is doing but when this comes up and then you can just you can just click on here and you can remove that the one I removed is number three so it has one two and four automatically if you add the next the next pin again i'm highlighting here to add the next pin you see this, this jump to number three it comes the next number wouldn't be number five it would be the number you already removed from here but again it's your choice you can tap on each of these pins if you want and you can choose the numbers by yourself which one you want to do so what is this red box and what's that uh, the yellow one the red box allows you when when you tap on it um, let me see maybe i want to allows you to move the pin maybe i want to move the first one number one so you just tap on it once the red box coming up you can just uh, hold it and you can move it and uh, what's the blue what's the yellow ball it just allows you to rotate the uh, pin so it allows you to rotate in any direction you want rotate it on it 
you cannot as uh, as you see here let's look at the numbers here there are just 10 numbers here that tells me that I can put this pin 10 times on this skull uh, there is no number 11 for it just the only option is 10 pins you can use but can I have more pins more than 10 on my skull yes you can but you have to choose the others the other the other ones those others starts from they start from 1 to 10 as well so you you have five of them and then times 10 is it it would be uh, 50 so 50 50 pins you can put uh, on here uh, when I when this menu is open uh, you can manipulate these pins you can move them around you can do what you want to do change the numbers everything and once uh, you close this uh, menu you can see that all these are going to be locked up into it you see if i move these the pins are not moving even again if you want manipulate it you can tap on it then sorry i opened the pin tool the pin tool you can tap on it again and then you can tap on each section you want to manipulate work on it you can you can do that so if you want lock this you need to first that window you lock it this one is like individually you can tap on and remove each uh, pin but if you want completely you remove everything you can just tap on uh, this uh, icon it's a delete it's delete all this icon is a delete all when you tap on it you see all the pins you put on, on your sample is all gone